What's good, everybody? Today, I want to talk to you guys about Jared Cook signing with the Saints and uh, kind of how that impacts his fantasy value going into next season as well as how it'll impact the Saints offense as a whole. Uh, I am a Raiders fan, so I got to watch Cook up close last season. Um, I mean, everybody knows he had fantastic numbers, right? From his all-time high in catches, yards, and targets, and touchdowns. So he balled out last year, you know, and, and although he did very well, and he was the um, number five tight end as far as fantasy football. I'd be very careful with taking him high this year. Um, let's let's look at this, right? Statistically, he had the most catches, yards, touchdowns of his career. He also had the most um, uh, opportunities, right? He has he was, had 109 targets. Honestly, last year the Raiders, as a Raiders fan, the Raiders had nobody on offense. We had uh, we had Jordy Nelson, and that's it. After we traded away Cooper, we had no one on offense. Uh, Jordy Nelson was our best threat, and Jordy Nelson today, if he was on the Raiders, would be the third best wide receiver on the team, uh, possibly even the fourth. After considering some of the players, uh, you know, the rookies getting a little bit better, um, I think it's. I think he's a good tight end, right? If you line up a linebacker on him, he'll beat 95% of the linebackers in the NFL. You put a safety on him or a corner, he'll probably catch over those guys, right? Uh, so it really depends uh, how the Saints are going to use him. And, uh, of course, Sean Payton's a very good coach, right? He knows what he's doing. Uh, he'll he'll get Jared Cook lined up on the outside and get get him in one-on-one -on -one situations. Drew Brees, one of the best quarterbacks, is going to get him the ball. Uh, he can make plays. He's pretty fast. He's a good tight end. Overall, as far as uh, catching the ball and, and that kind of stuff, he's a very good tight end. Uh, the the things that he's not great at that he needs to work on is run blocking. At this point of his career, I don't know if he's going to get better at run blocking. He's probably not. Uh, obviously, run blocking, there's a big emphasis on effort. And um, last year, I noticed that as the season went on, his effort started coming down. Could be because the, the Raiders sucked. Um, regardless... I think for the Saints, it's a very nice pickup. He has lost Mark Ingram, uh, and some those some of his touches have to go elsewhere, right? Uh, obviously, Jerry Cook's not going to run the ball, but uh, I think he can for sure get the ball a little bit more, uh, get some of the coverage away from uh, Michael Thomas, even Trey Quan Smith, a very good wide receiver. He'll be one of the best receivers uh, in the NFL. You know, if if the Saints were to move on from Michael Thomas, which is a real possibility. Um, I think Smith is going to be a fantastic receiver. I think Cook will be able to help them out. Um, obviously, Alvin Kamara still will probably get 90% uh, of the running back touches, but it'll be interesting to see maybe the Saints take another running back in the draft this year, uh, or they pick someone up, right, in the uh, third tier of free agency. Uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see what happens. Uh, but as far as Jared Cook, I think uh, you guys are getting a very good tight end. Uh, yes, he has his limitations in the run game, Um but he's still a good tight end, right? Uh, as far as fantasy value, I think people should be very careful with taking him high. Um, right now, people are going to value him probably as the uh, third, fourth, or fifth best tight end. And people are going to spend high draft picks uh, in the in the snake version of drafting. Uh, I, I use the auction. I think the auction is the way to go, right? That way, every person has the opportunity to get any player. It's more about like budgeting and, and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, I like the auction version. Last year, I drafted Jared Cook. I got him for $1. He's my very last pick of the draft, or of the auction. Be careful with taking him too high. Understand that the Saints offense gets the ball to a lot of different people, right? It's not just like it's one person that's going to get the ball. Uh, even last year for the Oakland Raiders, uh, he had a good fantasy uh, season, but a lot of his points came like week one, he had 25 points. Week two, he had like one point. Week three, he had like 28 points. And like week four through seven, he did nothing. And then week eight, he'll get 30. That's how his season kind of went along. I think he'll be more consistent with the Saints. But, um, you know, uh, Ben Watson last year had 10% uh, of the touches, right? Jared Cook for the Raiders last year had 20% of the offensive touches. So just consider that, right? Imagine Cook's uh, touches getting split in half, right? Which it's probably going to happen, right? The Raiders had nobody on offense last year. Uh, the Saints have a lot of good players on offense, so 
it'll be interesting to kind of see what happens here. Uh, I, I think, again, it's a good pickup for the offense. Fantasy-wise, I'd be super careful. Let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, would you guys draft uh, Jared Cook in fantasy? Do you guys, if you're a Saints fan, like the pickup? As a Raiders fan, I think you guys did a great job picking him up. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you guys are not subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.